To control the COVID-19 pandemic, we need an effective vaccine against SARS-CoV-2, the virus that causes this highly infectious disease. Some argue that we should speed up the development and testing of new vaccines by using human challenge trials, in which volunteers who have received a candidate vaccine are deliberately exposed to the coronavirus. We agree with this view, but question the proposed methodology of these trials. Most or all discussions of challenge trials take it as given that a placebo, or dummy vaccine, would be given to half of the participants selected at random from the volunteer pool. The use of placebos doesn't make sense in this particular case. Advertisement It is clear why double-blind trials with placebo control groups are often used in testing a new drug or treatment, they are a reliable way to separate what is often a weak signal from possible confounders or sources of noise, including the placebo effect. But the use of a placebo in a challenge trial for a COVID-19 vaccine is both pointless and ethically questionable, Advertisement will use a deliberately simplistic analogy to help explain why. Suppose we need to test a new type of parachute during wartime, when a better parachute happens to be urgently needed. Sooner or later it will have to be tried in a real jump. But we won't let that happen until we are already quite sure it is going to work. And we are certainly not going to give dummy parachutes to a control group, randomly selected from a group of volunteers. We already know what will happen to them. This comparison is more apt than it might first appear. First, with COVID-19 we are dealing with an international medical emergency. The immediate objective is not to develop the theoretically best vaccine, but to arrive at something that will shut down the pandemic as soon as possible. There will be plenty of time afterward to carry out further studies with all appropriate protocols. The goal now is to save lives. Second, we, sadly, have by now enough information on the morbidity and mortality of COVID-19 to know that even if only young, healthy volunteers participate in challenge trials, some of those given the placebo will become sick after infection with the coronavirus, and some might die. It is pointless to put these people at risk when there is almost no useful knowledge to be gained by doing so. In effect, the general population is all the control group we need to answer the question that needs to be answered, is the candidate vaccine at least 50% effective? We pick this figure because it has been mandated by the Food and Drug Administration as a minimum requirement for approval. Greater effectiveness would be desirable, of course. But the point here is that the purpose of a challenge trial for a COVID-19 vaccine is not to precisely measure an incremental improvement or to isolate the exact mechanism of action, as it might be in testing a new cancer chemotherapy.